Welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Hope that you're having a great day today, that you all had a great week thus far, that you have a great holiday, and that you all are well. Welcome. Um, as you can see, I am doing things just a little bit differently today because during prayer time, I'm going to feed Joanna. And then later on in the video, we're going to change her into something. So let's get started by feeding her her breakfast. Breakfast time for Joanna. This is breakfast time for Joanna, guys. Even though it's a little bit later. Um, we're running late today. But anyway, we are going to get to prayer time. Um, I did talk to Ali Ann yesterday afternoon. And this is what she told me. She said that Walt's doctor gave him a note. They did take x-rays. They haven't gotten, she hasn't called me. So they must not have gotten the, the results yet. So when she does, I will let you know um, of his x-rays. Um, but we need to continue to pray for him because they want him to rest. They would like to see him rest. Let me do this, guys. Sorry. There. They would like him to rest. So anyway. That is the only prayer request I think we have. So, let's pray. Let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you and we just thank you and we just praise you that for who you are. We just thank you and we just praise you that, that you are a God who hears our prayers and that you answer them. And Father, we do thank you and we do praise you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, who did to die on the cross for us, Father, to, to to redeem us so that we can be with you, so we can have eternal life. We just thank and we just praise you for that. And Lord, we now pray in the name of Jesus that you will just be with, with everyone today. Father God, we just pray for those who have lost loved ones. We just pray that you will give them your peace, your, your peace that path us all understanding and your comfort, that you will be with Dave and his family, with, with Aaron and Caleb, with, with Colleen's sister-in-law as she has lost her father, with Tammy's friend as they have lost their father, Jean. Father, I also pray for Sonia and that she has lost her friend and her, her cousin. I just pray, Father God, that you will be with them. I pray that you will give them your peace and your comfort today. And Father, we do pray now that you will just be with all those who have physical needs. Father, we think of Walt right now as he has to rest his knees. I just pray, Father God, that you will just touch and heal him. That you will give his body the rest that it needs. That you will rejuvenate and touch and heal his knees, Father, in the name of Jesus. That by your stripes, Lord, he shall be healed. In Jesus' name, we are claiming Walt's healing. And Father, I do pray that you will just be with Gord as he faces surgery on January the 2nd. I just pray that you will be with him. That you will just be with the doctors. That you will touch and heal his body, Lord. That, that through this surgery, that he will have no more problems with his heart as he has this bypass. And the Father, that he will have... A, no complications and a quick and speedy recovery. And for Mandy's ex-mother-in-law, Susie, we just pray, Father God, that you'll be with her as she continues to, that you will just be with her as they they look to surgery for her. I just pray, Father God, that you will touch and heal her body. That, Father, that if she has to have surgery, that you will just be with the surgeons. You will give them wisdom. You will guide them. And that, Father, that there will be no complications and she will have a quick and speedy recovery as well. And for Jessica, we just claim, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will just touch and heal Jessica from her from her seizures and her asthma and all of her health problems, Father God. We just pray in the name of Jesus that you will just take that all away, that you will touch and heal your servant in Jesus' name and our sweet sister. And I just pray, Father God, for Becca, for her fibromyalgia and her arthritis. I just pray, Father God, that, that you will just touch and heal her body. Give her no pain today, I pray in Jesus' mighty and holy name. And Father God, we are also praying now that you will just be with with Kira today, that Father God, as she is chair bound and bed bound, that you will just be with her today, that you will continue to build her faith, that she will not get angry, but that she will see the purpose in it and that, that you will just show her what her purpose is, Father, and that you will give her, you will just make her a blessing. You will send her people that she can bless, Lord. And I pray, Father God, for Laura's family member. I just pray that you will touch and heal that family member. As Father God, that family member has a desire to go onto the mission field. I just pray that you will open up the door to the right mission field. And that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. You will supply for each and every need that they will be able to go back on the mission field in Jesus' name. And Father God, I am also praying now 
that you will just be with Anne Marie today, that you will be with her chronic fatigue and her muscle pain. I pray, Father God, that you will just bless her today, that you will give her strength and energy to do the things that she needs to do. And Father, I do thank you and I do praise you for the time that we had with Nick and Anne Marie last night. It was so nice to be with them. And, and we just thank you and we just praise you for the fellowship that we had. And I just pray now that you will just be with her today. I pray, Father God, that you will be with Aidy as she has these allergies. Father, I just pray that you will touch and heal her allergies. Just be with her today. Just bless her today. As you are the physician she can get in to see in a timely manner. I just pray, Father God, that you will touch and heal her of her, her allergy, for what, what, whatever it may be, Lord. You know what the actual allergy is, so I just pray that you'll be with her. And Father, for this internship, I pray, Father God, that she will get this internship and it will lead to a permanent job for her in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with Tammy, my love, that you will touch and heal her eyes today, that you will give her clear vision, Father God, that she may be able to see clearly today in Jesus' name and just bless her today, I pray. And Father, I do pray now for Lori and her family. Father, as they are going through so much, I just speak to the cancers, Father God, and I just say, Cancer, you come out of Lori's daughter-in-law's mother, Susan's body, in Jesus' name. Give her plenty, plenty more time, Father God. Give her lots and many, many, many more years with her family, her friends, her grandchildren. Father God, I just pray to enjoy many more holidays and birthdays and Father God, I just pray now that you will just be with all that you will just be with with all of us having blood sugar issues. Father God, that you will bring our blood sugar down to a normal range and that Father, you just bless us today. I pray that you will be with Susie. Father, as that she has knee, hip, and back pain. I just pray, Father God, that you will be with her and that you will touch and heal her. I pray, Father God, for Patricia, that you will just touch and heal her today. Take all of her pain away in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now for Sarah's uncle. I pray, Father God, that you will be with Sarah's uncle today, that you'll be with her mother, that you will just give the doctors the wisdom and that you will give her uncle a quick and speedy recovery with no lasting effects from this stroke in Jesus' mighty and holy name. And Father God, we just pray now that you will just be with us today. I just pray, Father God, that you will be with each and every one of us today. And that, Father, for the mental health issues, I pray for Anne and Mandy and Anne Marie and Susie and Stephanie and Travis and David and Kiki Ann and Deborah and Gina and... Father, I pray for all, for everyone, Father God, having mental health issues. I just come against everything coming against our minds. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, that you will just be with us today. That you will just give us a, your peace, your peace and path that's all understanding. Give us clear minds that we may be able to make the decisions that we need to make with clear minds. And Father, and with, with what you want, I just pray, Father God, that you will just be with us today. I just pray that you will just, I just come against everybody that comes against us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And that... You will just that you will show that you understand and that you love us and that you will wrap your loving arms around us today. Now I pray, Father God, that you will just be with us today, that you will give us your peace, your peace that path us all understanding today, and that you will bless us, guide us through our day, give us a blessed and wonderful day today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Sorry, guys. Okay. She is done with her breakfast. Sorry. Joanna is done with her breakfast. Joanna is done. Now I'm going to lay her down here. I'm going to take her bib off. I'm going to lay her down here because I have some things to show you. Now I'm going to show you some things before we do, before I change her. So I know prayer time was kind of fast today and I did not mean to leave anyone out. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, sorry guys. I'm like, out of it right now. You know what? I'm going to put this back over here so that I have that. Now, I'm going to show you some things that Anne-Marie got me for Christmas. I'm going to show you the stuff for the babies first, and then I'm going to put this on pause, and I'm taking this off because underneath it is one of my Christmas presents from Anne-Marie. So, let's, let me show you. We had a really great time with Anne-Marie and Nick last night. I'll talk about that in a little while. This is a Little Company by Laura Conrad. Six month sweatshirt that says Joyful. I want you guys to see this. And with the Joyful sweatshirt is a Little Company, Laura Conrad, six month pair of pants. Now, this is in green. And this says joyful, as you can see. It's got the little snaps up here. And 
It's a sweatshirt. Anne Marie got me this for the babies for Christmas. This one is for Mariah from Auntie Anne Marie and Uncle Nick. As you can see, the houses, the people, all the houses and all the people there. And they accidentally sent her two pair. So I got a pair for Olivia. So that'll be good. And now this is a Carter's six month romper with hearts. It's quilted. It's got hearts for Valentine's Day. Look at that, guys. She doesn't have anything like this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that so sweet? Look at that. That is going to look good on her. That is going to, that's going to fit her well. Okay, guys. Now, I'm showing you the baby stuff first. Sorry. This is a little company by Laura Conrad. Three month. These are for Mabel. Look at that. With the, it's got the, the, the tie right here, but look. It's got Christmas trees, gloves, stockings, hats, candy canes. Look at that. Stars. I'll put this on Mabel one day before the Christmas season is over. I promise. Then it came with a matching sweatshirt. Of course, it's got the little snap up there. The matching sweatshirt with all the stuff that's on the pants. But anyway. She gave me my Christmas presents last night, guys. Okay. Now, I'll do that one last. I'll do that one last, guys. Look at the ornament she got for our tree. She knows, you guys know I like the puppy love stuff. So, I will just take this out of here. Let me take this out of here because I want to put it on the tree. I wanted to show you guys before I did it. The puppy love ornament. Isn't that really cute, guys? Look at that. It's in green. That is going to go good on the tree. Now. Now. She also got me. And then I will show you the shirt I have on. A white. Look at this, guys. A white quilted puppy love vest with the puppy love. She knows. You guys know I like my puppy love stuff. So. And look. On the inside. It's got quilted on it. Let me show you. I'll try it on for you. I will model this. Let me put this on pause and take my sweatshirt off quick. Okay. It's got the puppy love stuff on it. Now, I want you to see the back of it. Can you guys see the back of it? No, you can't see the back of it. Let me get down here. It's, I'm sorry, guys. I'm having issues getting the back of it to be seen here. Let's see if I sit down if you can see the back of it. Can you see the back of it now? If I have it on. It's got the, the lights on it. It's going to look good with this, I think. Let's see. I'll put this on. Over top of it. Isn't it cool? I can wear this with a black turtleneck, too. This will look cute with a black turtleneck, guys. This will look very cute with a black turtleneck underneath it as well. Or just put the black turtleneck underneath this and put this on with it. So, anyway. I got some nice Christmas gifts. But there is one that I haven't shown you yet. Because that is the one that I am going to do Wild Wednesday with. Not to mention, I am doing another one with it. The tags are still on this stuff. So, what I thought I would also do is popping the tag by Lynn over at My Bella Blessing. So, we are doing hashtag Wild Wednesday right now, hosted by Penny and Keith over at Playful Reborns, and popping the tag by Lynn at My Bella Blessing. If I can pop the tag, I might not be able to pop this tag, guys. This tag might not be poppable. No, this tag is not poppable. But, this tag is. This is a Carter's newborn. As you can see, pink 
with sharks. This is what makes it Wild Wednesday, guys. Polar bears. Deer. It's in like a really beautiful, beautiful um, lilac-y. Let me see if, what they have on the tag here. It's in a beautiful color, but I can't see the color here. Um, hmm. I don't know what they call this color, but I think it's a very beautiful, it's like a lilac-y color, I would think. But we are going to put this one on Joanna. So we are going to pop the tag for this one. Ready? Pop. I just popped the tag, so I did popping the tag. I lean over at my Bella Blessing. So anyway, guys, we are going to put this aside. I'm just going to put that on my sweatshirt, guys. Okay, now. And actually, I might just pop all these tags off now. That way, they're done. So I am popping the tags. Plus, I can do JJ Dolls UK new doll clothes today, too. Man, I can do a lot of, of things today, can I? Um, so, anyway, because I'm showing you doll clothes and I'm putting doll clothes on um, Joanna. I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to put all that stuff over there, guys. This isn't quite popping the tag because the tag is not on this, but... I didn't pop the tag, but I took the tag off. How about that? Now, I will be popping the tag on the other one. Let's get that one done. We are going to pop the tag on this one. I did say this was a Carter six month, right? So we're going to pop this tag. Oh my goodness. We have a tendency to, this will be good for Valentine's Day, guys. This will be very good for Valentine's Day. Look at that. I just so appreciate all this stuff from, from, from Anne-Marie. I did not expect all this. Just to let you guys know what I gave Anne-Marie for Christmas. I gave her the doll I bought from Becca um, a couple months ago. The L, the Ashton Drake L, um, who was my Savannah. Now she's her Savannah. Um in her nursery. And so, let me get this off of Joanna because I am changing Joanna into the sleeper. I'm changing her. What did I do with the sleeper? Oh my goodness. Guys, I lost the sleeper. Oh no, it should be back in here. Here it is. Sorry. I got a lot of junk on my bed right now, don't I? Anyway, I got a lot of junk on my bed, I know. But we're putting this sleeper on Joanna. Oh my goodness. I just feel like I have not changed these babies in a while. So she's the first one actually getting out of her Christmas sleeper. Um, I'm going to gradually change the babies out of their Christmas sleepers into other sleepers. Um, I'm going to gradually do that. So anyway, we had a great time with Anne Marie and Nick. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun. We went to John's Pizza. I gotta tell you guys a funny story though. Well, not funny. But when we got there, apparently they had had a very busy day yesterday. I'm going to try to take this off of Joanna and just put it on me for now. Um, and do this. I'm going to do her diaper first. Um, but anyway, we went to, um, to John's Pizza. Well, I said that already. I know. I'm very aware I said that already. I kind of lose my spot when I'm trying to do changing and chats. You guys know that. I am a horrible change and chatter. You guys know that. But anyway, um, they were out of stuff. They were out of mozzarella cheese. Just to tell you, they were out of mozzarella cheese. Yes, they ran out of mozzarella cheese. 
Oh, Joanna, I might have to put on a bigger diaper on you. I might have to put a bigger diaper on her from now on. It could be just the way that she's laying, but I might have to put a size two on her. She is really big. I do have size twos. Size twos would probably be really, really too big for her, I would think. But anyway, we are going to change Joanna now. Put her into the sleeper. So, anyway, we had a great time with them, guys. Um, despite the fact that I couldn't get pizza, which is fine. You know, there John has other stuff, too, besides pizza. As you can see, there's also little... Um, Trying to think of what those are on there. The little dolphins, maybe? There's something on the feet that I'm trying to figure out. But I love the colors in this. And I thought when I saw this of Joanna, I thought, man, I can put that on Joanna. That is going to be really cute when I opened it. I thought Joanna, I even told her that I would change her into Joy this into Joanna first. Because you guys know I change their sleepers quite often. Um, I just didn't do it over Christmas because of the fact that I was really, really busy. So, but anyway, we are changing Joyanna into this cute little sleeper today. I know I'm taking her out of Christmas, but I know I'm going against the whole, you know, keeping it in Christmas gear, but I do, I, I wanted to do this for Wild Wednesday, so ta-da! So anyway, guys, we had a really great time with Anna Marie and Nick last night. Um, they might even join us on Saturday at John's. Okay, guys. Joanna is ready for Wild Wednesday. So anyway, guys, Joanna is ready for Wild Wednesday. We had a really great time. I did not expect all the presents I got from her. I gave her Savannah. Now, on Friday, I will be revealing I will be doing Fresh Face Friday probably and revealing the name of the new baby I got for Christmas um maybe even revealing the the boy that I got for Christmas for my husband the Cabbage Patch's name too so stay tuned for that um so we just had a really great time with Anne Marie and Nick I was really grateful for the time we had um together He's just super sweet, guys. Anne Marie is a super sweetheart. And we just enjoyed our time with him. Um, we actually knew Nick when he was a kid. Um, my husband actually grew up in the same church that Nick grew up in. So just to give you a little, little thing about how we know Nick. Um, and we actually know Nick's mother actually was the one who made our banner for over our our reception table over our table at our reception for our wedding 25 years ago so um his mother actually made that so um i thought that was pretty cool so anyway we had a really great time with him last night um I do have something I would like to ask you all to do. I have an unspoken prayer request. The Lord knows what it is. I will talk about it um, down the road. I will talk about it down the road. Not now, now, but maybe in a couple weeks I'll be able to talk about it. Um, when I'm hoping leaving the praise report. Um, I do have an unspoken prayer request though um, for me. God knows what it is. God knows what it is that I'm going through right now. Um, I will talk about it maybe in a week or so. Maybe I'll be able to talk about it sooner. But anyway, as a praise, okay? I will talk about it as a praise, guys. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We so appreciate it. You stopped by. We always love having you guys here. Thank you for visiting with us today. Thank you for stopping by and being a part of this. Um, we love you all. And we will see you all tomorrow. 
Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out today. Have a very blessed and wonderful Wednesday. Bye, guys.